Hello and welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did get a Turbo Graphics 16 Mini, and I love it. It's a it's a great little system, but it has one huge problem. It only has one controller that comes with it. What I've been wanting to know is, do some of the USB controllers that I have in my collection work with this thing or not? Let's find out. All right, so I don't have a lot of controllers in my collection, but first of all, I know that this controller is gonna work, so I don't know if I should even bother testing this one. What we have is the Genesis three button controller. It's USB, came with the Genesis mini. I'm gonna try that one. And then I've got the Sega Genesis six button controller that's wireless, but it has the little USB dongle that hooks up, so we'll see if that works. I've heard rumors that it does. Then I've got my basic uh, PlayStation four controller. I'll uh, just hook it up with the uh, USB cable and we'll see if that works. Then this is the PlayStation Classic controller. It's also USB, so maybe, I, I don't know. And then I have a Xbox 360 controller that's also wired. And then lastly, I have this weird oddball uh, PC controller with a, with a stretchy uh, USB cable here. I was using this one for a while and it was, uh, it was really good, but I, I highly doubt that it's going to work on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so the first thing we'll try is the old standby TurboGrafx-16 pad that we already know works with it, but just want to make sure that my system's still working and everything's good, which eh, it should be. It was working last time I tried it. Okay, yeah, it looks like it still works perfectly fine. Let's try Bonk. Yep, he moves left and right. Jumps, bonks his head. Yeah, of course, of course this works. Not a problem. All right, next let's try the old Xbox 360 wired controller, see if that works. All right, let's try it. Nothing, wait, hit the button here. Anything? Nope. So that's a negative on the Xbox 360 controller. Eh, this would have been a good one too. All right, how about the uh, Sega Genesis three button USB pad for the Sega Genesis Mini? Maybe it's gonna work since they're kind of the same hardware. All right, let's see, is it working? No, nothing, nada. Does not work with the Sega Genesis three button controller for the Sega Genesis Mini, nope. And next we'll try my PlayStation 4 controller that's uh, plugged in wired with a USB cable. Where's the end of it? down there at the bottom. Right there, there's the end. We'll try this in there and see if it works. I bet it doesn't. <laughs> By the way, I am turning it off and on in between each time I'm plugging them in. I just wanna make sure that we're not screwing something up. Make sure it boots up properly. Um, nothing, nothing on the uh, PlayStation 4 controller. Not a, not a thing. And next we've got the PlayStation Classic controller that comes with it. This might work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. That would be a negative on the Sony PlayStation Classic controller. Nope, doesn't work. And now let's try this uh, crazy oddball uh, controller that I got probably, probably at Walmart back in the day. Seems like it's got all the buttons. I'll bet you this might even work on a PlayStation 4. I don't know. And... That's going to be, looks like a negative on this, on this one too. It's got this little switch here on the top. I'm, oh, you know what that is? That's to reel in the uh, USB cable. But anyway, does not work. Does not work. Uh, this is not as easy as it looks. And then lastly, let's try the Sega Genesis six button controller, which hooks up with this little dongle thing here. And uh, it's wireless, but uh, we'll try it. We'll, we'll see. Spoiler alert. I hear that it works. All right. So, uh. Oh, it did something. What did I do? So yeah, it would appear that the uh, six button works. At least the buttons work. As I push the buttons, you can see Bonk jumping there and he's head butting with the other button, but uh, the controller doesn't work. I can't get him to move. So uh, maybe if I try it in uh, three button mode, it'll work better. Let's try that. All right, so we're gonna change this over to three button mode by holding down the B button and the start. And hopefully that light will turn blue here. There we go. Now we're in three button mode and let's try bonk now. I might have to restart it though. All right, still in three button mode and we'll give it a shot here. Still not moving around. Still nothing, nothing working here. That's even worse. I can't get to do anything. Hmm. Okay, so I've looked through the manual here and uh, there's really nothing that explains how to do this little trick 
that I just looked up on the internet. If you hit the start and up button, now I should be able to move bonk around here. There he goes, left and right, left and right, jump, hit his head. So it's all good. Works with this one as long as you hit start and up when you start up the system. But it's not listed anywhere in this manual that I could find. So um, I just had to Google it. Now I highly doubt that that trick is going to work on any of these other controllers, but it might be worth it just to try it on the Sega Genesis pad, just for the heck of it, just to see if it works. I, I highly doubt it because I think it's just a specialized function of this particular controller. So let's try it. All right, back to this one. As you can see, it's not working. So let's hit start it up and it still doesn't work. So yeah, that's just a special feature of that six button wireless controller. It's not gonna work on any of these other controllers. So yeah. All right, lastly, I wanna go back to the original turbo controller. As you can see, it's still working as it would normally. I'm doing this with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other. Still move left and right. Now, see, there was a rumor going around that if you tried any other controller with your TurboGrafx-16 Mini, it would fry the system. But if that thing is not going to fry the system, nothing will. <laughs> so I don't think you have too much to worry about, uh, about frying it with uh, any of these other controllers. They don't work anyways. Now, one of the things I just discovered is that if you want to do two-player games, like with Bomberman, for example, you're going to want to make your wireless pad the player one and your original TurboGrafx-16 pad player two because it seems to work better that way. As you can see, that's player two moving. And as you can see, this is player one moving. So um, yeah, it didn't work when I had it. Uh, this is player two and that is player one. So word to the wise, you might want to uh, make this player one and that player two. It seems to work better that way. All right, now that I've got this working perfectly fine, let's try a couple of games. So yeah, I can pause it with the start button, unpause it, which is nice. And I can move and I can still shoot. Now there's not gonna be a turbo on this, unfortunately. And with R-Type, you really don't want a turbo button anyways. Now the, the question I had was, how am I gonna jump out of this? And if I hit the start and the select button, as you can see, I get back into this menu, just like I would with a uh, regular TurboGrafx-16 controller. And I can go ahead and exit out of it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We exit out of it by hitting the A button. Splatterhouse. With the Sega Genesis controller, that's weird. Punch. Jump. Get hit, punch, 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 pause it. So yeah, it works perfect, works great. All right, well, there you have it. There is some of the controllers that work and don't work with the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. It went about as well as I expected it to go. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Take care and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.